time. Well, whenever you play a third game in a tournament, uh, it's never easy, especially doing against a really good basketball team. Tulane's a really good team. Uh, like I said earlier on the radio show, I know Houston's picked to win that league, and that's the best team in the league. That's the second best team in the league. For us to come out here and play against a different style, uh, they played zone for 40 minutes. Uh, that was new for us. Wasn't a lot of prep. We had some things that we knew we could do against it. And awful proud our guys came out and executed about as well as you could. We shot 50% in the field. I think we were nine, nine for 21 from the three point line. But the key was they play a bunch of guards and our centers of, is a forward. And we, we weren't gonna let them pull J, J. Mar away from the basket. Basically, we, we played, did something we hadn't done yet this year for sure. Play zone for 40 minutes. Uh, they made some shots, but I didn't feel like over 40 minutes they could make enough threes. Uh, they got one guy who really could shoot it, Forbes kid. But the second half, the team only makes one three. We out rebound them, got the foul line. We had 20 assists. Uh, just a good, hard team effort on the road. Bench was great for us again. You know, I thought Flu was done, as I just told him. He's either a really good actor or he's really tough. Because we thought he was done for the year. But he comes back the second half, puts his cape on, and I don't know what his stance was, but played big. Made a couple threes, a couple jumpers, ended up with 13. I thought Rawls had a couple really big plays for us. Drove and finished. Made a big time floater late in that game, put us up, I think, seven. So it's a great team effort. Because I just told my team, you go to these tournaments, if you can't win them, that's always your goal. You gotta go to them. And it ain't always easy fighting through that first loss at different times. But I'm awful proud of our guys and they deserve a lot of credit for getting through it. Speaking of Rawls, Valu, um, they made some big plays. Eman and Luke jumped up and made some. Even though we had some different lineups this week that we hadn't dealt with yet, what did you still kind of see from the depth side of things on this team? Well, I I, we got better with this after the first game playing different lineups. You know, we find out, like we said, I've said this before, about um, Dante during the warm-up lines. So we had no preparation for different lineups. And it affected us. We weren't ourselves. Jamar getting in tr foul trouble hurt us. Um, but we got better in the last two games, different lineups. You know, we played the three guards some, Dave and Dave and uh, Landers and Rawls together some. Rawls as a three. And made us a really skilled team. And um, had Rawls at the two with Luke out there. So that's another guy. He had a great tournament again. Raw, I mean, Luke was. He's, he's, he's really zeroed in, playing great for us. Yeah. Jamar probably had his best of three games, still had a little bit of foul trouble there to start the second half, um, but how do you kind of explain his performance today? Well, his performance is easy. It's where he's comfortable at in his zone. Standing around the basket, not having to guard ball screens, not having to guard picking pops, and when that's happening, turns going to get more block shots. And again, in a zone, he is something different. You notice we got hung in zone late in that game with him out of the game. With Jarius at the five, it took it and went right through him and scored it. Uh, with Jamar, you know, it's hard to do consistently. 